do not photograph me. I am not gonna tell you this again. Do not Sorry, photograph right me. I don't care. Do this not photograph me. This man just grabbed you my camera leave. the second Do time. not photograph me. I'm asking you now, if you are violating my personal rights, do not photograph me. No. Why can't you be respectful of Call the cops. According to my rules, you are please, not sir, to Please, sir, it. don't do that. That's unethical. Have a great day, okay? Yeah, I need some service. For? Isn't this the Washington Department of Transportation? Yeah, this is the good to go program, the tolling service. Yeah, and you're run by Washington State? Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to get in line. What do you mean by well, were? No, we, no photography, please. What's that? Right there. See the big red. And then in order to move it, you just unscrew it and move it to the next. You guys have an unlawful sign in here? He's taking pictures. Well, it's not. Just told you, please, no picture taken. What is it we can help you with this one? Um, you can tell me if there's a penal code or an RCW or a muni municipal code associated with that sign up there. I wouldn't know that. What this does is it allows you to take money on I. Hey, you can't have the. Well, please don't grab my property. That'd be a robbery. So you don't do a lot of car carpooling or anything like that? Alright, so... Well, she's got two managers. Yeah, she's open. For either this okay. one or this one. I'm just here to inquire about public services. Okay, so let me go through this car. How's that? Can you tell us more? Yeah. I, I'm interested in the services you offer. I'm interested in this public building, what okay. it's used for. Sure, sure. Yeah. We can answer any questions yeah. you may have. Yeah. Okay, great. Because okay. I'd rather you not tie up our windows, right? Okay, Isn't so this, this for service? Isn't this where customers get service? So how can I, I tie it up by asking for service? Because I think you've got a couple of managers here that will probably be better able to... Have, well, at this know, time I'm just going to go ahead and want to talk to you guys about the uh, violation of Seattle Municipal Code 14.06 that you're engaging in right now. Which I'm not even aware of. It's called um, Unfair Public Accommodations Practices. It's what you're doing right now. You're How just... do you feel that we're being unfair? Yeah. Just, well, first of all, like as soon as I walked in... Questions and we're just trying to help you with your questions. You told me I can't film here, is that correct? Yeah. yeah. And is, is that... Clearly posted. Is that lawful? Well, because there's a lot of privatary customer information going on. Isn't that the Absolutely. reason? Absolutely. It's just yeah. protecting our customers' information yeah. is all. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we just... If you have questions, we're happy to address yeah. those. We just yeah. ask that you don't film within the room there. Yeah. But if you've got questions about your account or anything else, you're welcome to go sure. up and they can help. Is you is you guys asking me to not film in the room there, uh, associated with some penal code, municipal code, or is that sign just? It's a PCI compliance, right? What so does we're, PCI stand for? We're protecting customer confidentiality. Yeah. So there's a lot of transactions that take place with customers' information, mm -hmm. and so we ask that recording doesn't take place in there to protect their privacy. It's not to keep you from getting information you need, mm -hmm. but it's to protect others' information. So I'm just going to repeat what you just said to make sure I understand. Okay. You ask that people don't take photographs in there. Is that correct? correct? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and decline that request, and I'm going to go back in and ask for service. Why do you want to decline that information? Why well, do you want to not protect someone else's information? Because that's all we're asking you to do is protect there's, their There's information. one other person in there. I haven't filmed them at all. Okay. Have I filmed personal information? We, it's, a, it's a cautionary approach that we take yeah. to ensure that that doesn't happen by accident. We're not saying you're intentionally trying to do that. We're just I'll trying to what, guys, ensure. If, if you can show me a policy or something like that, but if you're just asking me based off of your personal opinion, then I'm going to go ahead and decline. 
So what is it that you're looking for? Why do you want to go in there yeah, to record the yeah. conversation? Well, at this point, since you've asked me to leave, I've, I've respectfully stepped out, and now I'm, and now I'm more interested in the fact that you're violating my rights. We're not asking you to leave. We're asking no. you just to, to record it. Right. That's a violation of my rights. That's a civil right. It's the First Amendment. So what this about all the? This is a state the... building. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what about the customers' confidentiality rights? Yeah. The I'll customers that aren't here with us Are today. Are you guys familiar with your own ethical policies? Give us a little more by what you mean. Well, I have them in my pocket. I could read them to you, but I expect you to okay. know them already. Well, then tell us what you feel that we're violating. I already told you. You're in violation of 14.06 of a Se Seattle Municipal Code. You're in violation of the First Amendment of the United States Constitution. You're in violation of the Washington State Constitution. Why can't you let me go in there and do business? Well, that's what I was asking is, did you want to do tolling? You had tolling questions. Who are you, sir? Steve Russo? Who are you, ma'am? Your badge is turned around. And are you with Can media you by chance? Because yes, we do I am. have a media. I am with reach media. Out. I am with and media according to 5.160 of the Seattle Police Department okay. manual. And um, per our policies, you should reach out to our media group. I don't work for you. I don't work for the state. You're telling me I have to follow your policies as if I am an employee here? No, but I, we have. I'm a, a we member of a the public, sir. Yeah, but we have a. Well, you just revealed. You said you're with media. Right. We have a communication. According group to 5.160. Got. Can Let me we explain something to you, sir. In public areas, there's no distinction between individuals who are employed by media organizations and those who are not. That's the First Amendment but of the Constitution. It it's, appears you have media questions, though, which are communications groups. I don't have media much. questions. Like I told you when I first walked in here before, I'm simply inquiring about services. And that's why I walked well, in, in there. We can answer services. that. So what, yeah, what inquiries do you have about yeah. service? Yeah. Why does it need to be this group in here that answers those questions? We're happy to answer that yeah. for you. Our goal is to treat every call, every complaint like it's coming from a member, like it's coming from a friend or family member. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But you're not allowing us to help you. What's so your role that's all here, we understand. I'm the manager for the call center and the walk-in. What's your role, sir? And I'm the customer advocate manager for Watchdog. Why are you trying to violate my rights? I'm not trying to violate your so rights. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to go I've back. I've asked you to not tie up our windows. Please. I haven't even done and, anything. And I walked to, in there for two seconds. And to not photograph. Okay. And, and we ask that of all our customers. That, yeah. so we're not pointing you out. We're not yeah. not mm -hmm. allowing you to do something that any other customer that went in to record or take pictures, yeah. we would ask them not to do so as well. So we're and, not treating you any differently. No, we just want to know how we can help actually, you. Actually, you're getting pretty nice red carpet treatment. What, what questions do you have about our service I don't, that we can I don't help want you red with? Carpet, I don't want red carpet treatment. I just well, want to be treated like a regular person who comes course. into the office to do business. Uh, I'm still not hearing customer questions. What, what uh, is I, it I, we can do for you? What's your role here? And then maybe you can... I'm the customer advocate. You're the manager. customer advocate. And you, yeah. ma'am, I'm sorry. I know you already told me. Customer service manager. Yeah. Customer service manager. And why can't I just go up to the window like a normal person? You can. We just yeah. asked you not to record it. I see that there's a person right here, and you haven't helped them. They're being helped by the people in the green shirt behind the desk. Well, you're taking pictures. Right. You're asking a lot of questions. Why can we not answer these questions for you? Well, I guess would be my question. You know, do you have a good to go account? Because that's okay. Let good me just ask you one question. What is the basis for you restricting this camera in that room? Confidentiality. Yeah, confidentiality, right. privacy of that's, customer information. That's a account. word. I'm asking you for a penal code, a municipal code, an RCW, hmm. something that has some authority behind it, just not your opinion. See that sign up there? It doesn't have a code underneath it. And the reason why? It's because there is no code. It's a suggestion that you're presenting as if it's required when it's not. Okay? So don't present... Um, things that should be voluntary as if they're required when they're not. If there was a penal code associated with that sign right in there, it would be under, on that sign, wouldn't it? 
sure, you've got us there, but so help us understand why you're not allowing us to offer your assistance. Yeah, why does it have to be someone in that room? Yeah. Why I'm not allowing you to offer me assistance? Right. You have questions for them. So what questions would you be yeah, asking for the group in there? We'd be glad to help you. I'm, I'm asking what services you offer here, but but at this point, I'm, I'm more interested in the civil rights violation that's taking place. Well, the service that we offer is any assistance you need with your toll account. If you've got a tolling question as to what roadways you can travel, what the pricing would be, how to open an account, any of that kind of thing is what these folks are helping with. Okay. Yeah. Tolling, toll bills, all that. Great. So I'd like to get that service, and I'd like to go in and do exactly and what you said they're helping with. And you absolutely may do that. We just ask you not to record the information. Thank you. I'm going to, I'm not going to record anyone's personal information. I just want to go up to the counter and ask for some service. But to be honest with you, um, this is very unlawful, what you guys are doing. And you, neither of you seem to realize that. Do you have an answer for that one? I really don't either. Well, I mean, we, I'm asking you to just give me some authority behind the things that you're saying. And you're just saying, uh, I don't know. Other than Sir, can I, I show you something? I suppose. I'm, I'm going to show you the laws that you're in violation of. Would you like to see them? No, not at this point. You Why would you want to see the laws that you're trying to enforce? Because I, I, I don't believe what you might supply me could be true, and I'd need to research it. So. Okay, well, I've given you uh, five I'll, different codes. I'll, I've yes. given you a municipal code. I've given you a Seattle Police Department code. I've given you an RCW, right? Yeah. You, you haven't written any of those things down. No, and we just prefer not to be giving out private information. It's due to our auditing stuff that's going on. Excuse so. me, sir in the green, are you willing to help me? I will not be photographed. You do not have my permission to photograph me or be in this office with a camera. Are you under the impression that I need your permission to photograph you? Are you under the, yeah, because that's a violation Absolutely. of my civil rights, and I will sue you back to Stone Ages. Um, so that's, do not photograph me. That's Period. absolutely ridiculous. Do not photograph me. Can we call the cops because you were violating my rights? Do not photograph me. I am not going to tell you this again. Do not Sorry, photograph right me. I don't care. Do you not photograph me. This man just grabbed my camera. It's the second Do time. not photograph me. I'm asking you now, if you are violating my personal rights, do not photograph me. No. Why can't you be respectful of Call the cops. Because you are violating my rights. Do not photograph me. I am not going to tell you this again. Do not This man just grabbed my camera. It's the second time. Now, if you are violating my personal rights, do not photograph me. No. Why can't you be respectful? Call the cops. Can what right cops? are you referring to? He has not given you consent. I have not given you consent to photograph me. I don't need your consent. You do need yes, my you consent. Do. According to what? According I'm not catching to that. My... According to my rules, you are please, not sir, to Please, sir, don't do that. That's unethical. What is unethical? What you're doing. Sorry, your behavior. I don't want to be photographed. You're going to be disruptive. This gentleman here is starting to take care I'm sorry, sir. Am I disrupting you? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not going to touch you. No, my goal is not to be disruptive, and so I'll go ahead and take it down a notch. I'm sorry. Who do I call? My, my goal is not to be disruptive. You're not going to photograph me. What can we answer for? That's you have, you have a reason for your visit, and all we're asking is what is that reason, what can we help you with? Yeah, I wanted to ask some Other questions here. Folks, so, so you had a 2006 man on there? Right, but at this point, this camera has been grabbed by two different of your employees. You haven't, you're asking the person who was just assaulted to, they grabbed, perhaps they didn't touch my body, but they grabbed a hold of my property. What questions do you have about tolling that we can answer? 
I'm not gonna ask any questions about tooling at this time. I'm gonna wait for the cops if you've called them so I can press charges against these two employees. You came in here with questions. Right? I'm gonna show this video to the police when they get here. And I'm gonna press criminal charges against this man. And I think the lady, she knows she didn't do that bad, but this guy actually grabbed a hold, you know, it, it's, it's unethical. I've offered to show you your own policy. It is literally, it is literally not unethical to record someone in the course of their public duties. We're just asking you what questions do you have regarding the program that we can answer? Well, if we can clear, I really appreciate that. So, okay, thank you very much. Go ahead and go away. What can I answer? I'm going to point this camera down from you, sir. Um, I'd just like to know about the good, good, the, the good to go passes. Okay. How I get one to go from my vehicle. Sure. Um, so we have a, di a lot of different passes here. We have the sticker, the flex, um, the moto, mm -hmm. and then you have the license plate pass. Okay. Now those, these basically are transponders that go on a vehicle of whatever you have. I mean, the moto pass obviously goes on a motorcycle. Mm -hmm. um, and you choose which one you want. And so the difference is just price and... Price and then uh, like this one here, it does like um, the 405, 167, you can get carpool exemption with that. Mm -hmm. Also, you can pay your tolls as well. Mm -hmm. uh, depending on, at a discount. Here, I'll show you this. This is for like if I go over okay. the 520 bridge, for example. This is 520, Tacoma Narrows, 405, 167, depending on how you choose to uh, whatever bridge you choose to Do use. Do I have to have this pass okay, to so go across those roads? Hold, um, is, we get no. Uh, care, there's a couple options you have. You either get a bill in the mail, mm -hmm. which would so not be at these rates up here, they'd be at these the rates down Tuesday, here. So um, Friday, with that, uh, you can either choose to get a bill in the mail based upon your registration address, or if you set up an account, we could fill one of these out. You put your information on there for us to get set up with one. Can I take this? You can, most definitely. Um, and oh, then there's a front and a back to it. Um, with this, you put your information up here as far as Same good deal. mailing address. Um, if you put a pass in the car, you choose register pass account. Um, with that too, if you don't want a pass in the car, you can do what's called pay by plate. Okay. The difference between these two here is that for this one, if you have a pass in the car, you save it for $2. If you do no pass, you pay this rate plus 25 cents. Oh, so if I just drive through with no pass, then I pay, then it's just a little bit extra. Right, it's called a pay by plate yes. account. And, and it just does yeah. that from like license yes, plate or something? It does it from your license plate characters, yeah. Can I have one of these? Yeah, most Oh, this is this right here? Yeah, it's that. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. This also details it out to one of those oh, two. From where? Do you have any complaint forms? Um, I don't, but if you want some paper, I can have you write one out. Sure. How much is the um, actually, I do have some paper. I'll probably have to do it at another time. Okay. All right, so, so I think, you know, think about what's happening here. Sure. And do something correct. Are you familiar with any um, <laughs> authority given to the so sign right here that everyone's talking about? Well, since I've worked here, I've been here for quite some time. Yeah. Uh, the main reason why we have that sign is because of security, um, so because we have a lot of people who work in this building and outside of this building. Mm -hmm. So we don't want someone to come in and photograph. For basically for the, a lot of customers who come in here with their personal information, we ask a lot of personal stuff. Mm -hmm. And we don't want that to get out. Uh, especially if they're video photographing, that could potentially get out and that would not be, uh, it would be a security breach for them. No, actually not. They so upgraded their system. You basically ago, said no. So There's no code or anything associated with that sign up there. No code, but it's more for the safety of our individual employees and for our So customers. it's a request? Well, we have a courtroom in this office as well, mm -hmm. basically for people who want to go to dispute some of the tolls. Mm -hmm. So we don't really want people photographing for that purpose because mm -hmm. we don't want someone to potentially there be a breach or something like that. Mm -hmm. It's more for the safety of our individual customers and for our individual employees well, as far, as far, who work here. As far as mm -hmm. we know, they... Do you notice that I haven't pointed the camera at this man at all? And they have to basically I haven't been manually... Paying attention, they can't manually go I'm in more here to try to help you. Mm -hmm. Well, from, you, from you have been a help. You've been the most helpful person in this office. Well, I really appreciate no it. No problem. Um, 
What's that? Yeah. You, you, can so like you, can you can try and go on Friday. I um, can guarantee which, which woman? Is this woman here? Um, she's our operations manager. Yeah. Her name is, is there someone above her? Does she have a supervisor? Um, not that I'm aware of. I, I'm not. I'm just a lead here. I don't really know. Um, is it possible for you to write down the names of those employees who grabbed a hold of my property? I unfortunately cannot. Um, I can give you my employee ID number. It's 105219 if you want. No, thanks, sir. I'm not interested in that. Okay. Um, what I'm really interested in is uh, getting this <laughs> and uh, I don't know if you guys know this but you're the lowest public the lowest rated public service agency in the city I don't unfortunately yeah. I mean my job is more to help people and to help their individual problems well you're, you're doing a great job yeah. I appreciate you de-escalating the situation with these ignorant um, state employees here so zero means that I owe nothing well, you're about to own nothing, so yeah, everything's about to get paid. Have a nice day, sir. Sorry if I disturbed you. I need, um, how many cars did that come to? Hello guys. Hi. I so just need to get the information of those employees there that grabbed a hold of my camera. So we're getting you a form. There's an official public yeah. disclosure form that you need right. to complete for that information and yeah. we're getting one for you now. It's a public disclosure form? Yeah. Correct. Yeah. That I need yeah. to complete? Correct. Yeah, it's either that or... Before the public employees need to identify themselves to me. It's information that you would use. Yeah, it's a yeah. form you'd use to get yeah, information about our employees or program or anything else. Have you become interested in um, your own policies yet? Oh, I've reached out to my communications group. Oh, what did you find out? Uh, nothing yet. Oh, good. Like I said, I've okay. reached out to them. All right. Um, I would like to at least write down uh, the sections that I was citing to you so you could look those up for you or if you want to take yeah. note of them, that way you don't violate people's rights in the future. Okay. Might be handy, uh, getting you the public disclosure request information might be handy if you ask for that as well on, on the signage. I know you had some questions about that, so. Well, that's only as a result of you and the other employees, you know, being belligerent. You haven't actually, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. You know what? You have not been belligerent yeah, with me. Thank you. You have tried to um, re restrict my right to film in this building, and so have you. But you haven't been belligerent at all. Um, but those two employees you have. Okay. And I'm printing out that form and giving it to you. Okay. Um, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Were you able to get your answers? I was, yeah. Okay, good. It was pretty easy. I didn't need you guys' help at all. Just one guy in here who knows what he's doing. <laughs> uh, if, if you guys have called the police, which I believe someone said they have called the police, I'm going to go ahead and wait for him okay. so I can attempt to press criminal charges against your employees here. I'm gonna walk back here and get a drink of water. Hello, ladies. Hi. Hi. I'm sorry if I disturbed you. Oh, this is the guy who grabbed a hold of the camera right here. Go ahead. Go ahead. If the police are on their way, I'll, I'm, I'm just going to hang out and wait for them. Okay, let if, me find out for you. If you can find out if they haven't been called, I'd, I'd just assume leave. Okay, let me find out for you. Okay, sir, it sounds like the police are not on their way. Okay. So you are. I'm going to take off then. Okay. Um, you may want to take a look at these things here. This is what I was referring to. This is Seattle Municipal Code. This is what you're in violation of. So you're talking about the accommodation practices? Right. Okay. Unfair. I will have um, you're also in violation of the, Seattle, the City of Seattle Ethics Code. Okay. Um, there's another one in violation of, but I'm not going to look for it right now. I guess I'll just do it with this form.
I assume you've heard of this. Yes, sir. Yeah. Have you heard of uh, this? Yes, sir. Yeah. Are you familiar with the codes that are pursuant to this press pass here? Yes, sir. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. You're in violation of six different codes here. Six different codes. That's federally. That's the state. There's another state. Here's a municipal code. Here's an ethics code. I will look into that. Thank you again, sir, at the desk. Have a nice day. Thank you, sir. By, by the way, uh, just don't take pictures of the employees. Take pictures all you'd like in there. I, I, I appreciate that, you saying that That's now. more about the PCI compliance, especially when we had a customer sitting in there. They might say something what or does you might PC, hear something. What does PCI... I don't remember what the heck it stands for. I've never heard of that, and I'm credit. very well versed on the law. It's for credit card information. Yeah. It protects credit yeah. card information because we're taking oh, credit card yeah. transactions yeah. in there. Like reasonable expectation of privacy type of thing. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I understand. And um, let me just apologize to you because I think I accused you of being belligerent with me, oh. but it actually wasn't you at all. You I'm, were very polite. Um, I honestly, I wanted to help you if you had like tolling questions or anything in general. There, I, I just, I just was, <laughs> I was mostly interested in if I have to have a pass to cross the highways. Oh, not at all. Or if it's, if it's just like, that's well, why I was asking the guy if, it, if they just like. We we do several ways. We do have the passes, and that of course is. A much less expensive way to do it because mm -hmm. it's automated. Not, not the manpower is well. not needed there. The worker hour, but um, pay by mail. A lot of our customers are that. So as they pass, I don't know. Have you been on the toll roads? I have. I've, I've been across 520. Okay. But I don't have. I don't have my own vehicle. So I, oh, I just gotcha. bought my own sure. vehicle now. Sure. I usually ride a bike, but it's not been licensed or anything. So gotcha. that's what I'm basically gotcha. interested in. I looked up um, this location before I came here. Basically. I looked up um, this location before I came here, and I saw that um, you guys had extremely low customer service reviews on all on several different platforms that allow customers to review. And so I decided to bring my cameras here to see if you would attempt to violate my rights. And sure enough, you did. I'm sorry to feel that way. Your attention is not to violate your rights; it's to protect others' information. Yeah. Right. That's cool. I can, under I can understand the intention, but the fact is that you literally did violate my rights. No. Um, this, these people, they grabbed a hold of this camera. They grabbed a hold of my property. One person hit, hit my property. We definitely have conversations, but we do ask, you know, I do say in the future, we can just respect the employee. Uh-huh. Do these employees have an expectation of privacy in the public? Do these employees have an expectation of privacy in the public? When they're working. They do? Isn't it fair for them to have an expectation to no. <laughs> not be recorded um, as a representative of a company? Well, let me just put it this way. There's no reasonable expectation of privacy in public because it's public. So that makes an expectation of privacy in public unreasonable. Absolutely hear what you say. Yeah. Um, but we, we're, we're just asking you that in the future. Well, I don't, I don't think I can comply with, you know, these unlawful requests, you know? I mean, I've, I've literally showed you, like, so many different codes, you're still telling me the same thing, so that's a little bit disappointing. Uh, a citizen is allowed to come into a, a public building or go into any public place and exercise their civil rights. Okay. You know? But we, we also have the right to ask you to respect of their course, privacy. Of course, but you right? don't have the and right to require me. And that's why you have no code underneath that sign up there. Because there's no legitimate code sure. associated with it. It's a suggestion. And you're trying to present a suggestion as if it's a requirement. You're right. I appreciate that. I'm going to be on my way. Okay. Thank you for the service. Sure.
By the way, this gentleman killed his mother and his sister. Do you have that on tape? 